Derek and Jamie, after nearly a month of recommendations, first from the district assistant superintendents and then from the budget task force tonight, the Paradise Valley Unified School District, addressing how they are going to vote on that $14 million budget shortfall and the recommendations they want to take moving forward. They did make one change from the recommendations they had made a week ago, and that was removing the recommendation that they would increase class sizes by one at elementary schools. An amendment proposed by one of the members to remove that, that passed three votes to two. But other recommendations, such as reducing social-emotional learning specialist positions, that will still be happening, although it will only be by half as much as the original recommendation. Now, the reason for these cuts, we've talked about it over the last few weeks, a one-time COVID enrollment stabilization grant. The district received that $14 million grant for the 2020-2021 school year. However, those expenses not brought back into the maintenance and operations budget for the 2021-2022 school year and district representatives didn't realize this mistake until the end of that school year. After some public discussion tonight, all of the board members expressing disappointment about the situation the district is in. They don't want to have to make any of these cuts, but not as much disappointment as those individuals who face uncertainty about what their role will be in the district moving forward. It's just definitely frustrating to kind of hear it fall maybe on a little deaf ears and still have the SELs up there. It was also kind of upsetting that it was really glossed over today, like it wasn't even put into question as much as the other recommendations were. So it kind of just made us feel a little, you know, pushed to the side. Those reductions in the social emotional learning specialists, those will go into effect next school year. But again, the big change today, the board voting to remove that amendment about increasing the size of the elementary school classes. Again, we will keep you updated on the situation. But for now, live in Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, guys, back to you.